trying to see which makeup I want to buy next one fits better for my skin this is a Clinique golden this is the Sephora's collection I think I'm gonna get full coverage with the Clinique though hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this your girl miss taboo and today i'm going to be doing a quick little i guess product review on the difference between clinique's um foundation and concealer versus what's that sephora's excuse me sephora's collection for makeup now on both of them well the clinique's um foundation and concealer offers full coverage and it's good for your it's good for sensitive skin it's good for acne and I, i'm actually trying this product up because out because my face started breaking out when i stopped using their 10 days to great skin because i just didn't make it to the store in time to go get more product and i started using something else and my skin started to break out so i'm switching back to clinique and i'm going to start using their face wash again and um I wanted to try that makeup to see how good it is for my skin. Now, the Sephora's collection is a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. They have a little bit more, um, I guess you would say, options so far as powders and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, if you can see on this side, this is the Clinique's. The Clinique's Foundation and Concealer Duo for full coverage. You can't really, you can see that I have acne still, but you can't see how much acne I have. It offers full coverage. I actually have a lot of dark spots, spots on this side of my face, but you can't tell compared to this side. This side is the Sephora's collection. Now, the Sephora, the Sephora's collection is only, um, and I'm not putting this brand down because I'm pretty sure this product works perfectly fine from, uh, for, other pe for other people, but personally for me. <laughs> this is the Sephora's collection. As you can see, it doesn't really offer full coverage. You can still see a lot of the acne that I have. And I asked that I, I was trying to get home a lot sooner and get my baby taken care of so I can make this video for you guys. Because I didn't want to leave the um, Sephora collection on too long because it's like I can feel it on my skin. And for other people, it may be lightweight. But for me, when I put this one on, the, Cl the Clinique's Foundation and Concealer Duo, it actually just, it just like glided on my skin. It's so light, I don't feel it. But this side right here, this side of my face feels a little heavy from the Sephora's collection. And like I said, it's not offering the full coverage as the Clinique is offering. The Clinique side, also, you can't see how big my pores are. You can see if my pores are open or not. However, with the Sephora's collection, see, you can see my pores. You can see how big my pores are around my nose. So for me, um, I ended up, I ended up buying the Clinique's foundation and concealer duo and i'm gonna be using that so and hoping that my skin my acne will clear up as well with this foundation so I, I like wearing makeup and i like i prefer liquid foundation over powder foundation particularly because powder foundation it just makes you look older i'm only 26 so i don't want to look like i'm about 35 when i'm 26 because of the powder foundation now like I said earlier, for the Sephora collection, I'm pretty sure that this line works perfectly for um perfectly for other other people in their skin types. But personally, for me, I would prefer and recommend the Clinique's foundation and concealer duo. Like I, like I was saying earlier, I was trying to actually hurry up and get home a lot sooner because I feel like this product is actually breaking me out a lot more. If you have sensitive skin and your face is acne prone, I do not recommend it. <laughs> like I said, I'm not putting the line down, just looking out for your skin. Cheaper is not always better. So it's best to go with something that's going to be good for your skin 
and radiate your skin versus trying to go cheaper and save money. Because in the long run, the money, saving the money may not be what's best for your skin at all. So that was just my quick video for you guys. And hope you guys continue to tune in. Like, please, please, please like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will be uploading more videos a lot soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.